The cost of transportation is set to rise if a proposal in the Finance Bill 2023, which is seeking to double the value-added tax on petroleum products from 8% to 16%, is passed. Currently, the cost of fuel is the highest since independence at 182 Kenyan shillings per litre of petrol and that of diesel at 168 shillings. Speaking in Embu County during the 60th Madaraka Day Fair, President Ruto said the government is exploring electric public service vehicles to keep the cost of transport down amid the global surge in petroleum prices. With this intervention, owning and operating a border border will become affordable, secure and profitable. The president revealing plans by the government to invest into electric vehicles for the public transport sector in what he says will greatly tackle the escalating transport costs. We are rolling out an electric vehicle public transport system which will bring down the cost of transport significantly. The current transport system heavily relies on fossil fuel. Kenya Power earlier this year reported that the country's power generating capacity as at now can only support charging of up to 100,000 electric vehicles. That means for the government to actualize its plans, it will have to invest heavily on generation of electricity and distribution together with setting up charging ports which can be achieved through public-private partnerships. By September this year, we will have a mechanism where you can get your border border that does not need petrol that will be run on electricity one that is financed by not a predatory system but one that respects the interests of those who purchase the border borders the president adding that his administration will help fund the transition to electric bikes which will be affordable compared to what is already in the market. David Kagina, K24.